that our Indian national anthem is that one song that brings the whole of India together. And it's my favorite piece of music, so that is why I constantly keep making versions of it. So I'm really honored, really thrilled that uh, we're going to be releasing a new version of the national anthem this Independence Day. The music lesson became the largest music lesson in the history of the world by the Guinness World Records. They adjudged it as being the largest music lesson. All of these recordings put together, the British Orchestra, the legendary Indian musicians, and uh, the uh, the 14,000 kids all put together became the new version of the national anthem that we'll be releasing on Independence Day. Thank you sir, welcome to NI. Thank you sir, we have come back to the national anthem to recreate it. After 14,000 children, with the Greenies Book of World Record, we have come back to the National Anthem. How did you come back to it? So I'm really honored, really thrilled that uh, we're going to be releasing a new version of the National Anthem this Independence Day. Last year, I had the absolute privilege to conduct a 100-piece British orchestra, perform the Indian National Anthem, so that was a lot of fun. And of course, the anthem uh, got widely recognized. It was also tweeted by our Honorable Prime Minister of India and uh, got viewed by pretty much everyone in India. And uh, I thought that that would be my penultimate version of the National Anthem, and I would not be able to better that. And I thought that was going to be the last time I'm ever going to uh, make a version of the National Anthem. Then after a few months of uh, living with that National Anthem after its release, I realized that sonically we had to make it more Indian. And sonically we had to bring the soul of India into the National Anthem, into that version. So what we did is that uh, I took the British Orchestra and on top of that I got uh, my favorite and in my opinion the best uh, classical musicians from India that is from the North Indian classical musicians and the South Indian classical musicians like Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia, uh, Rakesh Chaurasia, Rahul Sharma, Aman and Ayan, uh, we got uh, uh, Jayanti Kumresh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed, we got uh, uh, Giridharu Dupa. So some of my favorite musicians we brought them together and they did a fabulous job of interpreting the national anthem beautifully. And uh, the, last piece of the, the last piece of the puzzle was that uh, there is this institute in Bhuvaneshwar called the Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, they, at any given point of time, educate, board, lodge, and uh, take care of 40,000 poor tribal students. So it was very inspiring when I went over there, and I went over there a few times to see the scale at which they do all of their activities, whether it is education or whether it's f whether it is uh, their food activities or whether it is their assembly, it is just absolutely astounding what they managed to achieve over there. So I wanted to hold a music lesson for them. And uh, we put together 14,000 students for a music lesson. We did this music lesson and that culminated in us uh, getting the kids to sing in four-part harmonies uh, for the national anthem itself. So the music lesson became the largest music lesson in the history of the world by the Guinness World Records. They adjudged it as being the largest music lesson. And, uh, the, uh, and we beat out the record by an American university which had 6,500 students, so we beat them out by more than double. And all of these recordings put together, the British orchestra, the legendary Indian musicians, and uh, the, uh, the 14,000 kids all put together became the new version of the national anthem that we'll be releasing on Independence Day. So the children... So recording with the children was an absolute blessing. Uh, they are so disciplined, the children at the Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences, these amazing tribal students. Uh, uh, very, very enthusiastic, very energetic. And uh, the challenges were basically logistics because nobody has ever uh, done a music lesson for 14,000 kids. And that's why it became a Guinness Book of World Record because the, uh, nobody's ever recorded 14,000 kids before. Nobody's even recorded half of that. So it was a huge challenge to understand how do we teach these, uh, how do we do this uh, music lesson for these 14,000 kids and how do we record them in a way that uh, would be befitting for the national anthem. So we had to convert that entire stadium where they were, the 14,000 kids, we had to convert the entire stadium into a recording studio, have more than 200 microphones, get the best of engineers, get the best of equipment to actually do this recording. So these were the challenges, but the kids itself, they learnt the music, uh, the musical notes almost immediately. They were extremely disciplined and everything went off so well uh, because of them. Uh, and uh, even though it took a long time for us to record it, we did not lose their enthusiasm one bit. What do you motivate you to touch the national anthem? The national anthem was the first piece of music that I ever learnt as a child. Uh, in fact, uh, there was a small keyboard at home when I was, I think, about two or two and a half years old. 
and uh, I remember that my parents had already taught me the national anthem till then because my parents are who they are, they're very patriotic. So as a small child, uh, they used to make me listen to the national anthem, even though uh, for the first six years of my life, I lived in America. So in America, they taught me the Indian national anthem. And I remember playing on that small keyboard and I was hitting a couple of notes and suddenly I realized that, oh, this is the first line of the Indian national anthem and I'm playing it. And then I started exploring it and in a few days I'd learnt myself, I'd learnt the whole Indian national anthem. So it's the first piece of music that I ever learnt how to play on a musical instrument, so it's very close to me. And I believe that our Indian national anthem is that one song that brings the whole of India together. There is no other song, there's no other piece of music, there is no ideology, there is nothing that brings every single person of India together. And that is uh, the Indian national anthem does that beautifully. So I believe that, uh, you know, that uh, I believe that it's my favorite piece of music. So that is why I constantly keep making versions of it. Karnadigara Mitchina, Nema News 18 Canada, Ega WhatsApp Nalu Lampia, Karnatka, Matu Desha Videsha, 360 degree Sundi Vivravana, Neonima Kai Berlula Lia Padio DK, E QR Codana, Scan Madi, Nama Channel and a Follow Madi, Notification on Madi.